If you ask a marathon runner to sprint or a power lifter to do a marathon, he or she may not be able to do it. But why does this happen? The answer to this question lies not just in the training but also in our muscle fibers. So welcome to Melty Ochis. I'm your friend Divyansh and in this video I'll be talking about slow twitch muscle fibers and fast twitch muscle fibers. Let's do this. Now the muscles in our bodies can be categorized into three types. The first one is cardiac muscles which are responsible for the functioning of the heart. The second is smooth muscles which are responsible for the functioning of the organs. And third one is skeletal muscles which are responsible for the functioning of the bones. Now cardiac muscles and smooth muscles are involuntary muscles which means that we don't have any control over them. But skeletal muscles are voluntary in nature which means that we have full control over these muscles. Now in this video I'll be focusing on the skeletal muscle fibers which can be broadly divided into slow twitch muscle fibers and fast twitch muscle fibers. The slow twitch muscle fibers or type 1 muscle fibers are great for those who are into endurance sports like long distance running or walking. The reason behind this is that there is a high density of capillaries within these muscles which means that more blood reaches them along with oxygen which is then used as fuel for these muscles allowing them to last longer but these muscles produce less strength and power the second type of skeletal muscle fibers or the fast twitch muscle fibers can be further subdivided into two types the first one is the type 2a fibers or moderate fast twitch fibers and the second one is the type 2x fibers or the fast twitch fibers. The type 2A fibers or the moderate fast twitch fibers come into the picture when we perform anaerobic activities like a short distance run but at a much faster pace. The moderate fast twitch fibers use oxygen plus glucose as a source of fuel which means more power but they fatigue or tire out much earlier as compared to the slow twitch muscle fibers. The type 2X fibers or the fast twitch fibers come into the picture when we perform activities like powerlifting or sprinting which require maximum power output for a short duration. The fast twitch fibers use glycogen or glucose as the fuel and they fatigue really fast. So to sum it up, the type 1 fibers or the slow twitch fibers are perfect for long duration exercises performed at a low to moderate intensity. So if you enjoy full marathons, half marathons, 10 km runs or long walks, these are the muscle fibers powering you through the workout. The type 2A fibers or the moderate fast twitch fibers are for moderate duration exercises done at a higher intensity. Activities like 400 meter runs or lifting moderately heavy weights at a higher intensity during your resistance training will predominantly use these muscle fibers. And finally, the type 2X fibers or the fast twitch fibers are utilized for extremely short duration exercises done at a high intensity which require explosive production of force by the muscles. 100 meter sprints and power lifting are examples of activities where these muscles thrive in. Now the question is, can we train our muscle fibers to become more fast twitch or more slow twitch? Before answering that question, let me tell you that humans on an average have 50% slow twitch muscles and 50% fast twitch muscles. But in some cases, people may have more of the slow twitch muscles or more of the fast twitch muscles. As per medical research, the creation or composition of these muscles depends on the genetics and to an extent on the training as well. So what happens when we train and does training really help? Now when we train, the moderate fast twitch fibers or the type 2A fibers come into the picture. These fibers are also called transitionary fibers. So for example, if you keep running long distances, some percentage of these type 2A fibers will convert to type 1 fibers or slow twitch fibers, making us more adept at long distance endurance sport. And if we power lift, some percentage of these type 2A fibers will convert to type 2X or fast twitch fibers, making us more adept at power lifting. 
but this transition of muscle fibers is temporary. If you stop working out, the transition fibers will come back to being the type 2A fibers again. But quite a lot of research is still left to be done to understand this transitioning of muscle fibers. So the secret sauce here is to keep training consistently just like Virat Kohli who does a lot of powerlifting, training his fast twitch muscles in the process and this eventually helps him run faster between the wickets. So I hope you guys learned something about muscle fibers from this video. For more such content, keep watching Melt Your Cheese and I'll see you in the next episode.